Vault Boy is the happy-go-lucky, iconic mascot of vault Tech. His seemingly innocuous visage is peppered throughout the wastes, a constant reminder of the fallout preceding the nuclear war that has plagued the wastes for centuries. But where did the idea for this enigmatic icon first spring forth? In our quest for answers, we discovered a number of incredibly interesting facts about the history and design of the American icon known simply as Vault Boy. Of course, Vault Boy's most famous use is as the icons for perks or statuses in the games. In Fallout 2, it was possible to get the reputation status as a child killer, which as you might imagine, would cause you to be quite disliked. When asked to draw an icon to represent this, artist Brian Menz created this. The image was never actually used in game and was replaced by a much tamer, hated reputation icon. Of course, when it came time to bring Fallout 3 to the wider market and consoles, even without offensive art, the idea of child killing was far too controversial and the games from this point on would no longer let you attack a child. Hold it right there, mister. Now take another step or we'll blow your fucking head off. And my imagination will feed my hungry heart. The design of Vault Boy has become iconic, and it's as much a part of the Fallout brand in our universe as he is of the Vault Tech brand in the games. But did you know he's based on Rich Uncle Pennybags, the mascot for the Monopoly board game? Confirmed in an interview with Timothy Kane, the original creator of Fallout, the similarities become obvious when the two are placed directly next to each other, especially in the styles of the eyes and the hair on the sides of their heads. He also seems to draw some inspiration from classic cartoons, such as the adventures of Tintin. You know what that means. Pip-Boy 3000. Part of your life. With Pip-Boy, all life's answers are in sight. Pip-Boy 3000. Many gamers over the years have made the mistake of referring to Vault Boy as Pip Boy. Obviously, this is down to the similarity of the two names and Vault Boy's prominent use on the Pip Boy device. But did you know, this case of mistaken identity is also attributed to the creators of Fallout Tactics, who actually confused the two and called Vault Boy Pip Boy in game, where he is a recruitable character who speaks in a strange 1950s dialect. It wasn't until Fallout 3 that the developers really started to define Vault Boy in the game, but to make matters just a little more confusing, he's still referred to as Pip Boy in the game's trademark legal documents. Sign up now and prepare for the future. Vault Boy was also known by another official name. Although he isn't named directly in the original game, he also appeared in its accompanying instruction manuals where he is referred to as Vault Man. The name is only used once in the manual and could even have been a mistake by the writer, or perhaps at this point, he didn't have an official name. We know when the concept for Vault Boy was first designed, he was simply referred to as the skill guy by the artists. Since then, it seems to have been completely abandoned as it was never used in any future Fallout content or game Games, and Vault Boy became his official name. Do you know what makes you special? I've added confidence in the swimming pool. Did you know that some of the perks depicting Vault Boy draw inspiration from comic books? Adamantium Skeleton is a reference to Wolverine from the X-Men comics and his adamantium coated skeleton and claws. Nerd Range looks like Bruce Banner turning into the Incredible Hulk. And the toughness perk bears a resemblance to DC's Superman. It's Superman! 
Movie references can also be found hidden in the perk's artwork, such as this image for the Pit Fighter perk, where Vault Boy is seen wearing armor identical to the character Blaster from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. and the cyborg perk in Fallout 3, which is a nod to the T-101 from the Terminator series. I'll be back. Friends, your future may not be as secure as you think. Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? Vault Boy's most iconic image is the thumbs up pose, and this image has become the focal point of many fan speculation. One of the most popular theories was that this pose was not a sign of everything being A-OK, -okay, and that he was actually measuring the size of a nuclear explosion to see if he was far enough away to be safe. Basically, if you see the explosion outside of your thumb at arm's length, you're in the fallout zone. Now, it became such a popular theory that many gamers actually now believe this to be a fact. However, although this theory is a lot of fun and makes his smile seem so much more sinister, it was unfortunately debunked by Fallout 2's lead artist on Twitter who said, it's just a thumbs up, basically saying, everything's okay, when it really isn't, and it's nothing more than that. Interestingly, Vault Boy also has a female counterpart, Vault Girl, although she is far less represented and doesn't even show up on female Vault Dwellers Pip Boys who, like the men, have their statuses represented by Vault Boy. She's found as Vault Boy's companion in a number of the skill icons, but she also replaces Vault Boy in some if you're playing as a female character. For example, as a man, you get the perk Lady Killer, but with the female protagonist is replaced with Black Widow. Vault Boy has also been seen with another male companion in some images who looks exactly the same, except with black or brown hair. And the Black Vault Boy has also appeared briefly in the Leaving the Vault video in Fallout 2, with his hair fat into a crew cut. Well, that's all the Vault Boy facts we've got time for today, but if you have any more weird facts relating to Vault Boy or the Fallout games, let us know in the comments below, and hey, it may just turn into a video. As always, this is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game. Seems perfect, but what if it's not?